Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dante, and this is episode 2 of Crafting with Dummies. A nice let's play I'm having on my server as I slowly begin to, to develop my homestead. We have a basic cabin we made last, uh, last episode. We're going to right now do some exploring, cut down some trees, and if we have time, visit one of my uh, fellow co-workers at their little location. So let's get started, shall we? Close the door behind us because we're not raising a barn. I want to go and um, clear off these trees over here to get some more lumber. Maybe even dig up the entire land base here so I can have a nice open connection to my house, which is currently on top of a hill. Oh, and there's my boat still standing, thank goodness. So let's pull out my ever efficient wooden axe and start chopping. eventually plan to make a tree farm which I probably mentioned in the last episode so once I cut down these trees I'll have at least two type of sapling at my disposal maybe later on I'll do some more traveling and collect different types of sapling as many as possible the one thing you want in Minecraft is an ample amount of resource of course you could travel as far as you want Go to different biomes, collect the materials, but there's always a chance that you're going to die and lose said material. So it's best to, you know, create a farm, create a tree farm. If we're lucky, we could probably catch some animals and maybe make ourselves a, a kennel, you know, keep some pigs and cows close by. But I haven't seen too many, aside from like one or two sheep, I haven't seen many other animals in this area. So maybe that'll be next on our agenda. more calming than deforestation. Did I pronounce it deforestation? Yeah. Oh, sapling. Nom nom nom. Let's do some more cut. Let's do some more chip chop. Then we go. Hopefully expand the size and beauty of our current wooden shack. Our current floating wooden shack because it is floating oh and there's the evil camera coop once again hello camera coop you sadistic monster I always like it when this happens these are two different kind of trees it's the birch and the oak tree and they kind of meld into each other I don't know I always thought that looked really cool when I get some shears well when I get some metal and then some shears Maybe I'll um, trim back some trees and just make my own landscape that way. Am I picking these up? I don't hear them clicking when I pick them up. Let me see. Pick up. There we go. There's a little click. Uh, let's do... Add the, the spawn. Let's get this one last guy over here. Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay. goes my efficient wooden axe. There's a hole there. Hold on. Let me give it to you first. Ooh, I found a secret. Like Legend of Zelda. You just randomly walk around, you find a hole in the ground, check it out. Might be a wizard. Is there a wizard down here? Can I trade my wooden sword for something better? It's a little dark, hold on. Spooky. Spooky no more. We have water. Oh, it's a cave system. This whole place has a lot of nice cave systems. Is this coming? Yeah, it's actually coming right from the ocean outside, so it's not just a... Oh, hello. Yeah, it's not just a... Source block. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Shift, 
Because they don't want to fall to your death. Yes! We found a chasm. Holy crap, I think this chasm goes beneath the actual house. Does it? Can't, there we go. Uh, there. Yeah, sure, that helped. Yeah, I think... I think this chasm... No, no, the house is, the house is further that way. So, as of right now, it just kind of goes parallel to it. But yeah, we have a chasm. Or a crater, or a canyon, whatever you want to, whatever they're called in this freaking game. We have one beneath the house, more or less. So I might want to start digging here later. Is that gravel? Is that gravel? Is that... I can't tell anymore. There used to be a point in this game where you would travel and you would find cobblestone and then freak out because you knew you automatically found uh, a dungeon. But, be but because some of the texture, texture like this guy here, it's kind of hard to like determine what is and isn't a dungeon. I think I hear a cat outside. I don't, I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's a very loud cat outside. Yeah. And... Oh, thank goodness. We have found iron. We have found one block of iron. Okay, we found one block of iron, but that's still good. We also got some coal, which I'll gladly take. I ain't gonna argue with that. So we got one block of iron. At the very least, we can make a nice uh, shovel. But coal is always nice. I'm debating if I should just block this water or cut it off. No, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off. Um, I got some dirt somewhere. No, don't push me back water. Come on. Oh crap, did it get dark outside already? Okay, wooden sword. Oh crap, it did! No! Do not want to be here. I'm stuck in the hole. Damn, tree. Run. Oh god, run. I'm outside in the dark. I'm like a naked baby. Must must get trees. Torch. Torch. Less chance of spawning, please. More torches. Too many torches. Doesn't care. Doesn't matter. I'm getting out of here. Okay, that was good. We got uh, some saplings, we got one singular piece of iron, and we found a secret. Cause I got a secret. Sorry. I have like Mr. Bobato on the mind. Don't ask why. Don't don't ask me why, I just I just do. Inside the house. Close that door. I'm gonna skip this night. There we go, much better. Much better. Okay, so... For now, I'm just gonna put that there. We got... We got some good saplings. We got lots of wood. Um, coal. You know what? I'm gonna keep two coal, make myself some torches. And I'm gonna start digging up that area I just came from. I wanna make it nice and flat. Cause like I said, I wanna get rid of that whole little island there and make myself a nice launching point for boats. Boats! There we go. It does occur to me that the zombie I saw a minute ago was in the water. So either he has despawned or he's still taking a bath. Enjoying the suntan. 
Be gone. There we go. Okay, he's gone. But yeah, we uh, we have ourselves a little hidey hole. Well, for now, a hidey hole. What is this is what this is right here. This single tree almost killed me. It, it blocked the path, and I couldn't get out. Punching trees, punching trees. Anyway, once I finish punching this, I'll start digging up that dirt. So we got ourselves some sand, lots of extra dirt. Oh, come here, you. Um, what else? Oh, I'm gonna correct that current. There we go. Uh, picked up some seeds as I was going along. So that's another thing we have to do. We have to um, find a nice location for our general farm. I'm debating if I should, once again, put it on the flat plains over there. Or save said flat plains for more of the trees and have a small farm. You know what? Right there. On the left side of the house, I'm going to do a really small farm for now to get started. Because we're going to need, we're going to need that weed and bread for food. Like I said, not many animals around here. I'm just wondering if I dig up this entire area right here, if I completely remove it and replace it with the water, will it accidentally sink into the underground cavern? Oh, and there goes my shovel. Anyway, food for thought, people, food for thought. I'm almost done here. We're almost done clearing out this island. And just in time, because the sun's beginning to go down. The real trick and kind of pain about doing stuff like this is making sure you, I guess, dismantle the island correctly. Because if you don't, like, the water ends up... Ooh, what was that? Hello, kitty. Uh, the island ends up... Um, sorry, the water around the island ends up not flowing properly. You gotta do all this stupid like digging and re-digging and putting dirt back in holes like uh, like so just to make sure you don't get these weird currents surrounding your little island. That should do it for now. Wow, I'm like, well, I just realized I have, like, no food on me at all. I have no food. I'm gonna die soon. And I really want to kill one of those freaking octopi or, or squid. I want to kill one of the squids. No, no immediate reason. But just because, it's, it's good to have squid ink because, you know, sometimes you want to make a notebook. And yes, even though I'm talking to all you nice people out there in the internet... All out there in, the, in your system of tubes. Um, it's still kind of fun just to uh, make a fake notebook. Make a fake journal. Let's see. How many seeds do I have? I got two seeds here. I think I got two. Oop. I think I got two in the chest. So you know what? Right here. Yeah, I'll make an indent here. Clear out some stone and I'll put a. I mean, you know what? I'll just do it right here. Let's make a little. Oh no, I can't. I don't have enough iron for buckets. So I'm gonna have to dig it, like on ground level. Crud. Oh, zombie. In the house, in the house. Let me go to sleep before he gets too close to me so I can't sleep. Let's see if we can hear him dying in the sunlight. Listen closely, my friends. Listen. There he is. Gotcha, bitch! Where are you? Where are you? I wanna kill you. I wanna hit you. Get the final blow. Where are you? Some of a bitch went around my house. I'm over here. Dang it! Missed it. Yeah, I got some jerky out of it. Give me that jerky. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything on me? Oh, I do have an apple. When I cut down those trees, also got some flint. 
probably make some flint and steel, but I want to hold out on using that one piece of steel I have. Okay, yeah, this is not good. Where, where's the rest of my food? I know I have food. I gotta have food. Wow. No, wait, I'm an idiot. I, it's right here. How many, how many of you at home were just screaming at me? It's in your freaking inventory. It's right there, you moron. Wow, I only do have two seeds on me. Oh my god. No, I had more seeds than that. What is happening? Oh my goodness. Anyway. Okay. New plan. New, new plan. Um, I don't want to put the farm over there. It's too far away. I could. I just need a spot to put some freaking... Some freaking food down. I want to look nice, though. Okay, right here. You know what? Right here. We're going to go ahead... Make a small farm area right here. I'll make it look pretty later. I might even move the whole thing. But for right now, we need to grow something. Good, because I make a staircase right here. I can go back into the house. Almost like a staircase, but you get the idea. Okay. Red is good for in stacks of three, so we're gonna... Double click like an idiot. No, one, two, three. Uno. Dos. Tres. Actually, I don't even need it to flow in because it's so close to the water, it'll just soak it all up anyway. Okay. Let's get some seeds. Let's uh, pull out this shovel and start whacking some plants. Oh, perfect. We got nine. Alright, let me get, um, let me go make myself a hole. Because every man needs a good hole. And once we have the hole, we can then go and start making our farm look nice and pretty. Yay, we got an achievement. Time for farming. I don't know if it's, like, a waste of time. Or an actual stroke of genius that... Minecraft has no instructions, but the achievement list is kind of an instruction of what to do. Because Minecraft isn't really meant to be, you know, a set amount of rules telling you, telling you to dig here to uh, to reach the next level. It is really just, it's pretty much just you doing whatever you want. So I guess it's kind of a stroke of genius that the achievements double as instructions in one way or another. I don't know. I guess to people who've never played the game, they don't they don't understand the achievements at all anyway. But once you have gotten your hands into it, you're like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. Do I have string? Hmm. People at home, remind me, do I have string? Nope, sorry, that was my, um, battery warning. Let me fix that. There we go. So before I go upstairs, remind me. Not remind me, take a vote as to whether or not I have string. And if you know for a fact I do not, you can yell at me for being an idiot, for going all the way around the house just to go check. Maybe I should put a back door, I don't know. Did we catch string? Yes, we did! And I wonder... Oh, I wonder what's the Wonder Ball. And it shows you I grew up in the 90s. If I, remember, if I remember what a Wonder Ball is. If you know what a Wonder Ball is, type yes in the, in the commentary. If you don't know what a Wonder Ball is, it's the most awesome piece of choking hazard candy you would ever have. It is candy of a toy inside. Guaranteed to kill your children, but they want it anyway. Yay, we can now go fishing. Um, 
know what? I really should go out, go out there and clear off the last of that island. But I'm gonna do some fishing. Let's do some fishing, shall we? Hey! I like fishing. Minecraft fishing, actually. I like Minecraft fishing. I like actual fishing. I just haven't done it in years. I would love to do it. Find a spot where you can fish. But I live, I live in New York City. I live in the Bronx. And um, there's not many good fishing options nearby. And if there are, like, you don't want to fish there. Because you don't know what you're going to get. If you live in the Bronx, you know of a beach known as Orchard Beach. Orchard. It sounds beautiful because everyone loves, you know, orchids. So Orchid Beach or Orchard Beach. But if you know Orchard Beach, you know for a fact you do not go fishing at Orchard Beach. There be things in the water. Second try. Huh. Nice and close this time. Too close. It's floating above the ground. What time is it? Sun's going down. I'll end this day right here by fishing. And probably getting killed by something. We'll see. Yep, we got a fish. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. Fishing, the most relaxing sport you could do. Until you run like a freaking maniac back into your house and close the door behind you. The fishing pole stuck in the ground. Come here. It's like fishing at the lake um, in Friday the 13th. Sure, it's relaxing. As long as you don't get caught. Let's go to bed again. Get some sleep. Pass a monkey and an achievement. Time to farm. I went to sleep with a fishing pole. And just imagining the, the horrible, horrible ramifications of that in real life. Alright. Let's go clear off that piece of dirt out there. And then find a spot to make our tree farm. I have a way of doing it. I have my own way of doing it. You know what? How about we go ahead and fire up our one lone... A uh, brick of iron ore. Grab that delicious mutton, mutton out of there as well. And uh, let's make a an iron sh an iron shovel because that's gonna help us for all of our landscaping. So I decided right now we're gonna make a goal. We need a goal. Um, Aside from the basic setup of clear that off, fish for this, farm for that, I'm going to turn part of this slowly loading flatland into a city. That's our goal. Our goal in this is to make a miniature town right there. Maybe use uh, clay, make some fake brownstones, whatever. And I'm going to see if I can populate it with villagers which might mean trapping villagers or most likely um, going the long way around and turning zombies into villagers anyway I, I want to make a village right there but that's the long time goal the long term goal we're gonna first have to make this place a bit more livable and like I said we'll start by Doing what we do best in Minecraft, and that's digging lots and lots of holes. So, let's go. Okay, so that's been cleared out. Um, I'll adjust that in a second. But first, we need some stairs. We need to make it easy to get into the house from the ground level. Uh, let's see, gravel. Three blocks of cobblestone. There we go, cobblestone. We did get some flint. So maybe we can start making some arrows shortly, but let's make some stairs with, with the cobblestone we have. Okay. 
Um, you know what? Let's just let's do all of it. There we go. That makes everything so much easier. Let me go zip right inside. There we go. I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna extend this on either side. That way I can make the you know, then I was do some landscaping. Manscaping. Hi zombie. Okay, I actually had just enough to do uh, over three blocks worth of staircase all the way up. And a singular block here. But that's not what I want to show you. Check this out. Coarse dirt. Is this new? I I just have this one singular block of coarse dirt. And I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna have to like look it up online now because I've seen so many people I've seen so many people play modified Minecraft. I lose track of what's actually in the game nowadays. Because they, 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 they upload these weird biomes and stuff and I have no idea what cost dirt is. I don't, I don't, can you bake it? Is it just harder to dig? It looks the same. I mean, hold on, let me see, hold on. Okay, it's regular dirt. Regular dirt. Okay, so coarse dirt's a little darker, and I guess it took longer to dig. Let me see. Dig, and no, it's about the same. It's about the same amount of time. It's barely any difference. I'm gonna have to look, look this up. I'll, I will look it up. But first, let's see if we can rush this night time. And uh, you know what? Night's almost over. I'm just gonna fiddle around, and then we'll keep working in the daytime. Okay, so I went. Made a bunch of oak fences. I made a bunch of birch wood slabs. And what I'm gonna do is make my standard tree farm. Now I know we have a bunch of trees here in the natural landscape, and a bunch of trees there in the natural landscape. I want to leave those. What I like to do is build pretty much a big wooden platform. Uh, kind of like, uh, kind of like the ones you would see in a sky block, and just organize a nice tree form from there. And we're gonna put it right here, extending on the side of the beach, a big uh, rectangular block. And then we're gonna leave all of this open for our final plan, which is a nice curving city. I can keep those trees in the back as a kind of park landscape, and then maybe. I'll turn this into a food garden, uh, kind of like a public garden. Oops. And as for cattle and sheep, um, that's not on the agenda right now. So I'll find a way to put that in. So what first we're gonna do is, um, once again, put these planks down and build ourselves. Uh, I guess you could call it not a herbarium. Well, it's not a herbarium. Herbarium is different. Herbarium is, uh, go look up herbarium. It's very interesting. We're gonna build ourselves... I guess, what's the word? I must pause for a moment and think of the word. Shame on me for not knowing this. Ah, here we go. A conifer collection. There we go. An evergreen collection. Clicking, what a pain. Oop. Get out of here. There we go. So here's my basic setup. I usually have one dirt with two uh, blocks and all around it. Give it enough space. There's one dirt. One, two blocks, one, two, then one, two, or dirt, one, two. And then I'm gonna surround the whole thing with a nice 
fence just because I like the way it looks. Oh, and what's cool about using the half blocks, if you ever get stuck beneath it, there's an air pocket down here, so you don't have to worry about dying. So, I'm thinking, uh, well, once I get myself some more birch wood slabs, I'll do, for now, six, three and three. If we could get more than that, I'll break it up and use birch wood, oak saplings, and I'll travel outward maybe get other types of trees. But for right now, I think six is good right across. So I'm gonna go back to the house, get some more birch wood, maybe cut down a birch tree that I don't like in my surroundings. You know, keep the feng shui flowing, and we'll keep on building from there. Doesn't that look nice? Just a line of torches now out there, illuminating my kingdom making it able for me to see that little bastard in the corner. See him right there? A little zombie. Anyway, got some more wood. I'll wait to daytime to keep building up the uh, platform. Yeah, I'm going to definitely wait until daytime. Good news. Almost done with the platform. Bad news. There are two skeletons hanging out right at the exit of said platform. And I still have a wooden sword. How many planks do I have left? Four planks. Everything's lit up. So I might, I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting these planks in. Then I might have to swim for it. I could probably take them on. But, um... I don't know. They, you know what? I'll, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just leave them be. They ain't, they, ain't, they ain't causing no damn trouble. And over there's a creeper. Right there, you see him? Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna take a swim for it. I'm not gonna go over there. Anyway, what I got left here? I got, there we go. Moonwalk technique. And that's the last of my planks. And I gotta make some more. Meantime though, in fact, with what I do have finished, Sapling there, sapling there, I did do eight, so it was more than just three and three, I, did, I, did, I decided to uh, push my limit and do some more, put a sapling right there, I'm going to do all white birch, that way hopefully they'll grow in. And then um, I have some more wood. Look at this son of a bitch. He was all the way over there and he's, hi, how you doing? Why, why are you sideways? Why are you walking sideways? Come here. Take it. Take it. Gonna die. At the very least, he could give me a carrot. I find the, the food mechanic in this very annoying. If you're down just by two food, your health does not regenerate. Not even two, I'm down by one and like less than, one and less than a half, like one and a quarter, and my health will not regenerate. You, you would think the difference would be, di would be different. Like maybe, maybe the more hungry you are, the slower you heal, but you still heal. No, there's no point of an entire food bar if the only last two freaking drumsticks are what matter in getting your health back. I never understood that. Back in my day, you ate, and it gave you health. There was no food bar. Back in my day, I'm an old man. Anyway, yeah. You know what? I got some bone meal. I did kill a skeleton earlier. Let's see this uh, platform in action, shall we? Do I have six? I got six. I'm gonna waste that little bit. Of, yeah. One more. Ta da! Proof that it works. Right, so we'll get some wood. Do I have. I have a workbench on me. 
bit some more planks and I can probably finish this off real soon let's uh, let's keep going shall we oh we got round two round two some more health and then now I'm gonna make a dash for my house because I have to make more fence posts anyway minecraft water oh. Nago has me in his sights oh, he's trying to get me Ooh. Yeah, I'm hit I'm hit I took an Nago to the knee for them to do something with bats. Maybe they have. Maybe I haven't seen the newest update, but I'm still waiting for bats to have a reason to exist other than being really annoying. Okay. Chest. Workbench. A tree farm that's already sprouting. Check it out. Only one thing left to do. said and uh, you know slow process but process nonetheless oh nice trees are growing in I'll probably take this uh, red granite and I'll um, you know polish it or whatever turn it into polished granite something nice and then uh, we'll end the video yeah we'll end the video here should be oh fuck yes we will end the video here. <laughs> uh, yeah. But once again, guys, I'm Dante. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the future. Later. <laughs>